Yeah. All right, people, we are live finally. Storm Chasers today. I have a gentleman here with us that's been on the show a couple of times before. We've definitely spoken about him probably like three or four times now. Uh, but, you know, last year was a big year. This is Anthony Lindsay here. This is the man that has officially redeemed himself. We know him from Black and Crew Chicago and all of the drama when Ryan Henry from Black Ink from Chicago slept with this baby mama, had like a whole fling going on for about a month. That went super viral. And after his interview with us, his baby mama then accused Anthony here of domestic violence. And so this is an issue you've been dealing with for the last year, right, Anthony? Um, Actually, 13 months. 13 months. 13 months, yeah. brother. In a few days. Yeah, because you literally came on a show like October 13, 2020, and then I was back live on the 19th of October, like going over these allegations, and then you got arrested on the 29th of October. Right. Damn. So, so first things first, let's get to it, man. Um, officially, you have been found not guilty of abusing your ex. Yes, today, not guilty. Not guilty. How's it feel, man? It's been a long 13 months. I mean, it's like, it was really for my mom, man, and my nieces, and my aunties, and people in my family. That's that's who I really feel happy for, the females in my family, the females that, um, not in my family, females that look up to me and things of that nature. Um, my mom has seen it on Wendy Williams. You know what I'm saying? They put abuser. She's accusing him of, of abuse, you know? So, you know, the people at the church, you know, everybody's seeing it, you know? Yeah. So I'm more happy. I knew I didn't do it. You know right. what I'm So I, I already knew. I was vindicated from the start, me personally. But it's just the fact that, like I said, I have, you know, female acquaintances, friends, family that look up to me and, Brother, they, they didn't believe it, but nobody want to hear their name slandered all across. Exactly. Oh, no, you muted yourself. No, you, there you go. Can you hear me? Oh, wait, can you hear me now? We can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear okay. me? Okay, yeah, it had muted you for a minute for some reason, but go ahead. Um, You know, it's already bad enough to be going through the situation that I was actually going through. And to hear people call you an abuser, just, you know, based off of an allegation that an individual said about me, you know, that wasn't true. Um, the last incident that she tried to use took place March the 1st, my birthday. And um, she pressed charges on me October 21st or something like that. And they arrested me October the 29th. You know what I mean? I did the interview with you. Next thing I know, I got arrested. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy too, man, because you came on, you did the interview, you were super respectful, you didn't say anything crazy, and it really wasn't that messy of an interview at all. Um, I guess she just got mad that she got blasted over what she did, but it was what it was. Like, I'm sure people was calling all kinds of, like, hoes and stuff in her DMs, and she didn't like that, but that wasn't your fault, that was just... Right. But those were her own actions, and so I mean, her her actions, her actions were what got her to whatever it got it to. My actions, I didn't do, I didn't have any actions. You know, my actions was being hurt. My action was me speaking to you about it publicly. You know what I'm saying? That's that, which was my right. It was it was happening to me. You know what I'm yes. saying? It's something that happened to me, so I had every right to discuss it, whatever the way I saw fit to try to help. You know, with what I was going through. No, you did. You did. You had every right to discuss it. And in addition to that, you know, like I said, you've always remained pretty much a class act towards her throughout this whole situation. Because the thing and is, if you had beat her, if you, if you were an abuser, I feel like you would have abused her when you caught her with Ryan. Man. And as she, trust me, had I, I didn't touch her, even then. You know, like I said, she came first charges on me for something that she tried to say I did that was actually eight months later. And that's kind of was like, you know, what they were asking her, like, well, we were in a good space at the time, too. You got to realize that, too. We were in a good space. We actually probably about the, you know, we, we was in a good space, man. That's how I found that out. We were in a good space. We had no beef. We weren't 
beefing about anything. You know, we was just. Because y'all was talking about actually getting back together, right? Yeah, yeah. I was at our, the day I found out. Remember, I was at our house. I just spent the night that night, you know? So. So wait a minute. So you, okay. okay. So the day you got arrested, you had just spent the night at her house or the day you found out about Ryan? No, the day I got a the day I found out about Ryan. Gotcha. When they came to my house, the police came to my house and I'm like, I looked out the window, I see like seven police cars, you know. I'm from the hood, man. So, you know, we don't really we don't even answer the door for the police, you know what I'm saying? But I'm feeling like, why wouldn't I answer the door? Because I I I have you know, I I this the last thing I I'm like. What could be even going on? I had no idea what was even going on. You know what I'm saying? Because had I knew something like that was going on, no, I wouldn't answer the door because I was alone. And I never want you know, to have an encounter with the police by myself. Makes sense. Makes sense. You know, so I wouldn't have answered the door. I would have called my lawyer and we would have went down to the police station to see what was going on, you know? But the fact that, it, like, I know I haven't done anything illegal. I know I haven't done anything. I, I, I was compelled to open the door. It was, I was cool with it. So why do you think, but so why do you think she put those charges on you? Why do you think she did that? I mean, me personally, I feel like it was in a, a um an attempt to assassinate my character, and I mean, an abuser is like the like. Oh, did it go? Oh, I'm on my cell phone. I don't know. All I can do is hit decline, but I'm on do not disturb. So I don't know why it's calls coming through. But um, what I was saying is that um, well, I was just saying, why do you think she would have put those charges? Oh on? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, everybody, like you said, I mean, when, when it first came out, everybody was calling her, you know, whole sluts, things of that nature. I'm sure that was heavy on her too. You know what I'm saying? And an abuser is just like it's like a pedophile, rapist, and and a, and a woman beater. You know what I'm saying? In that order. So they did have people saying, even on your show, when I did the interview, yes, yeah, Storm, but he an abuser, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, saying I deserved what happened to me because I'm a woman abuser. They don't feel any sympathy for me. Not that I needed them to. But, you know, people, you know, saying he's an abuser. So that's why she did it. And right. that, that, that wasn't the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did it. Whatever you did it, you did it because you did it, not because I was doing anything to you. Well, yeah, you 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 right. And even when um, and I'll like I'll do like some recaps, and I'll show you know from those lives we did last year. But even when I looked at the bruises that she put on Instagram, um, they look like hickeys. And even when I talked to you, you said you guys, you know, you 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 like to bite when you guys have sex. It's just kind of like what you. That's what's a, we grown man. It just it is what it. Look, yeah. you start smiling when I said that. It's just some men are just a little rough, so it's just. You could tell, even though from like looking at them, they look like somebody was sucking on her neck and her chest, and that's all it was. So, and yeah, I mean, and even the bruises like on her knees, it looked like she had fell. But like you said, she was drunk in the club, and I mean, they presented that for today. That was one of the actually, that was Exhibit A, actually. Really, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. Um. The video from that night because it was time stamped to you know coincide with the events of the night you know you can't be that drunk passed out drunk and then sit here and giving an accurate account of events that actually took place no you can't don't that mean maybe i'm tripping but if she said one thing to the police if she's saying one thing in court and it's not true didn't she technically perjure herself or no but they called it impeachment that's what they, they yeah they they, they um they mentioned that, you know, because they called her, you know, it was like a couple of um, things in the police report that didn't coincide to what she was saying. Yeah. So the, of course the lawyer pointed that out, but, you know, you know how it go, man. Yeah, I mean, you you know, it's, thank God I ain't never been in that position. Thank God. <laughs> now, um, me and you did talk, and as a matter of fact, let me put, let me look at your paperwork now that you sent. I can't post it here because YouTube is funny with that, but uh, I mean, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to post it. Okay, okay, yeah, you can post it on your IG. Definitely, if, I'm definitely, gonna, I'm definitely gonna post this. Cause you, cause you declared yourself, man, and um, yeah. so you guys had so many like court dates that it was continued, like in November, December, January, February, March, and June. You said that was because of COVID. 
yeah, COVID had a lot to do with the coastal court system where it really wasn't open. Everything was basically a Zoom type of situation. Gotcha. And, and from from October 2020 until today, when you were found not guilty, how often have you seen her since then? I mean, I see her every day, actually. Because you pick up your son, Caden. I, don't, I mean, it's complicated. I, I have my son every day. If he's at my house, or I still want to take him to school. And he actually only, he only lives like 10 seconds from the school. So um, she'll probably make him lunch, and we still got to go by there to pick his lunch up. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, we have a good relationship. Uh, when I say a good relationship, I don't mean like we sit around smiling at each other and stuff like that. But as far as my son is concerned, you know, it's a good relationship. And that's all that matters. As long as it's cordial, that's all that matters. Because even like, like, like I told you, we was on the phone, man. I'm on IG. I lurk from the distance, from the bushes. By the way, she got me blocked. Ma'am, I got two, three pages. It's all good, though. But, um, you know, you, you have your son pretty much every day almost. So it's like, I'm like, I don't think she's hiding from Anthony when he comes around. I don't think she, you know. Yeah, I mean, technically, um, she had an open case against me. So when you open a case with someone from domestic for domestic violence, technically, you're not even supposed to see that person, period, while that case is going on. And that was like even a condition of my bond. So if I felt I knew she, I mean, I don't know why she did it, man. I, I can't even say like, even when she did it, I still didn't think that she would actually show, you know, I, I get why you did it initially. You know, you were hurt. You were trying to. You know, I remember the interview she did. Uh, this is not the guy you guys think he is. He, that's the exact word she said. He's not the guy you guys think he is. I never had any loyalty to Anthony. You know, those words I never forget. You yeah. know, um, so it was that right there. He's not the guy you guys are defending who you think he is. So that lets you know right there, it had nothing to do with anything except trying to make paint a bad picture of myself. Yeah, she was embarrassed, and she felt like yeah. if I'm if I'm gonna deal with this, even though that's some narcissistic shit, for you to do something to me and then try to punish me because I defend my like that's crazy. It, her emotions were high, but let, let me ask you this: Do you want her back at all? I gotta ask. I gotta ask because they want to know. I gotta ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh man! Like I said. The fact she even showed up to court today, that's lets me know you you want to bury me. Like I'm I'm I, like you said, I have my son every day. I um I'm a good father. I'm my son's hero. And you want to diminish who I am. You know what I mean? You want to I lost the business opportunity. Talk about that. Talk about that. Um if I had can. two different I had two different opportunities. Um I won't, you know, say the people's name because you know I want them to look like, you know. They was wrong too, but the business opportunity that people pull back because once they did my background check, the open case came up. And if the case was something other than a violent nature, then it wouldn't have mattered. But specifically for what it was for, this particular license, I couldn't even be included in it. The deal was already made. I was already moving forward until the background check came up and I had an open case against me. And then for one of the airlines, I had a um a very nice position offered to me in the corporate, you know, with some good flight benefits to him and everything, you know, yeah. really six, six figures and everything. And again, I got the job, got the um, offer letter, and then when they um TSA had to do a, do a check, and again, an open case of violence against you. We can't we can't fuck with you. So, you know, it hurt. Then you have, you know it hurt me financially. It did, it and, did, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad to see that now you're over this hump. But that's a long 13 months of your life just being at a standstill, and it's like, well, you know, you figure that shit out for yourself because she don't care, she ain't gonna drop the charges. So, I really, like I said, I still, I, when it comes to my son, I pay for everything. I do more than, you know, I would be told to do by a judge because a judge I, I never want a judge telling me how to raise my son so as far as that she knows she's good on that i take care of my son man and only thing this did was hurt me like i still have to, in three months i still had to go get this expunged off my record 
Because even though yeah. when it comes to domestic violence, even though you found innocent, if you don't get it expunged, people still will see it. Yep, they will. They will. I've, I've, I've had clients that had to deal with it because it, it's so fucked up, but it's so true, man. It's easy to get it stuff, but to get that off your record, you got to go through it. You got to go through it. Do you... um? Oh no, I had a qu- okay. I had a question too. So I know you said you done, brother. But if she texts you three in the morning, it's nothing. Like it's dead. Is it, I know you done, but is it dead? I mean, you gotta look at this, man. I'm always respectful, brother. No matter what, she, even after all this, somebody might call me stupid, whatever, whatever. But she ha- she has the golden ticket, which is my son, and my son gets to see us get to see us interact with each other you know it's not a drop-off child you know we still would you know do interactions with with our son so i just want to keep that good but i have no it's nothing in me nothing that could feel any type of attraction towards somebody trying to bury me like like she said i never had loyalty to anthony (laughs) them whole words damn damn so I mean, for for her to be in your life for seven years, that's 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 messed up to not have no loyalty. And I'm gonna say this: the big exclusive, <laughs> Ryan had to testify. I'll tell him. So, my attorney called Ryan to testify, and I'm not gonna, you know, what I will say is he just he told the truth. He told the truth. No, sir. So he, even though Ryan played his part in this, had had that situation never happened, none of this would ever happen. But he still came in and he told the truth. We can say that. Yeah, he, he told the truth. For the, every question they asked him, he told the truth. And was I worried? Because again, we don't, you know, I, I I didn't I didn't know what to expect. Man told sure. the truth. That's what's up. That's what's up. How do you feel about people saying that that's what you get for being with your preference? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, there's only one type of, there's only one people that say that. You know what I'm saying? There's only, you know, one group of people that say that. And if you, I tell a person like this, man, Nova Star Foundation, that Ryan and myself, actually ran yes everything we did was for women of color you know what i mean not that we was like saying everybody else didn't matter but we only could help who we could help and i mean we've taken them and that we did a lot of things and then outside of that you know um i do a toy toy drive for single black women every year you know i do so many things for the black community that I always feel like, so I'm only judged about who I sleep with, not what I do for the community. You know what I mean? So you just, as long as I sleep with somebody that's the same complexion as myself, I'm a good guy. That's all I got to do. I don't have to do shit else. I don't got to help nobody. I don't have to edify my community. You know what I'm saying? Like the same people that say that shit, they don't even do shit for black people. They just sit up there and talk about, you know, oh, 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 you shouldn't have been doing it. What, what do you do though? What do you do? You sleep with a black man and what else? That's it. How many, how many kids, Book bags have you filled up that was less fortunate? How many families have you took to buy whole Thanksgiving dinners for? Christmas gifts for families? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I do all that for the black community, period. And judge me on that. My preference to help the black community. Yeah, I heard the man say it. Not, y'all know I had to ask him because I knew you guys were going to ask in the chat. But just yeah, they, I mean, they murdered me in your thing. Like some girl, I don't, he deserved it. He a colorist. I'm like, so that now I'm a colorist. That makes me a colorist. But if I only dated every woman that was my complexion only, and I didn't date anybody that was light complexion, nobody would call me a colorist, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And it's just it's it's just in this culture that we're in. You know, like everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are guilty of everything they accuse everybody else of, you know. People guilty of what they, you know, they same thing with the LGBTQ community. People, you know, they say things about them and things of that nature, but then you do the same discrimination. You know, you do the same discrimination. That's kind of the, like, we discriminate on our own people for no reason, man. For no reason. 
And yeah, it hurt me when people were saying that. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm not a color. I'm right. sorry. I, I just I, I was gonna say I felt like, like that would have been yeah that yeah. And then you know everybody you know kept speaking on my son as half Puerto Rican, but my firstborn is by a black lady. Nobody talked about that. That is true. I've seen it for myself. Yeah, because your oldest son is what, like 22, 23? Mm -mm, he's older than that. He 30. Oh, he 30. Oh, he 30. He 30. Okay. Yeah. okay. So he got a grown, grown son and a little one. So, hey, there you go. Well, my man, look, man, I, I, I think you, you, you put the rumors to rest, man. Anything else you want the people to know? I mean, I just want women that's actually victims of domestic violence. Don't hesitate. You know what I'm saying? Still go get help. Still reach out. Don't keep that shit to yourself. Find somebody. It's somebody who's willing to help you. And also to the women who commit domestic violence and then turn it around and say that you were the one that was the victim. You're not, you're not helping the cause. You're hurting the cause. And it, it makes it hard for the women that's actually going through it. So Today, my victory was for the women that's actually going through it. And they said, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they see women out there that's not going through it and they use that. You can't just use that. It's a very big thing. Domestic violence is, is critical, man. You could you could ruin somebody's life. I could have got found guilty and I'd have been fucked up. It's a lot yeah. of shit I couldn't have been licensed for. I couldn't have been bonded for. You know what I'm saying? It, it, actually, a guilty verdict could have altered my life. Oh, yeah. You'd have been you'd have been done. I mean, trying to get out, trying to get around that, trying to tell people, no, I didn't do it because everybody that get convicted say they didn't do it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody. But, you know. I was I was guilty. I had to wait 13 months to come back on here and show you. I, I told you begin with. I told you I ain't never hit that girl. ever. Well, here's the thing, too. If people they can't really tell because you're sitting down. But even if they go to your IG, this man uh, looks like he lives in the gym. And I feel like had he choked her, she said you choked her for 10 minutes straight. 10. Um, I looked it up and you can only go without oxygen for four minutes. <laughs> four, to, four to six. And then your brain did. So how did she survive 10? I don't know. Let's say it. Because it didn't happen. That's how. Yeah. 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 So, hey, man. Um, did you want to answer a couple questions? You don't have to, but I'm, I just want to put no, it out. Go ahead. I got a few. Okay. All right. Y'all got a few minutes, and then we're going to let him go because we don't know what he got to do today, too. If you got go questions. My, I got to go pick my son up. <laughs> oh, you got to go pick his son up. Okay. So I'm going to give y'all a few minutes. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why am I picking size? I am staying neutral. What are y'all talking about? Anyway. Uh, they say, how old are you? If you want to answer that. I'm tripping on the first one. Like someone said, you picking size. So if the, if a court said not guilty, see, that's, that's, that's the one thing about the black community too. You didn't, you never, you're not picking a side because you, you went with a not guilty verdict. I'm no, not guilty. Yeah, it does so say not guilty. That, but I'm saying, how's that you picking sides, though? I think I think they want me to go in on you because you was with an exotical. I think that's I, why. Again, but there's no need for me to go again, in. Again, again, even though I just told you everything I, I I've been doing for the black community, they still want to you know bring that up. And that's if that's my if that's the, if that's the worst thing that I could do. Okay, my what's first, your, yeah. my, man? If you go to my page, the Anthony Lindsay, you'll see. We just went out to dinner two nights ago. That relationship is forever. We under, She understood the assignment. She understood that black woman understood the assignment. We, yeah, because she is black. Right. I saw that yeah. too. Your first, yeah. Yeah, and we like we're like family. We we you know we raising our son, even though he's a grown ass man. It's for life. Do you hate your dark skin? Man, I look good as hell. Like I don't want to be arrogant and shit like that. Like I love. I I I, I tan. I go and I, I actually tan. So again, for you to ask me, what have I said to make you think I hate my black skin? Nothing. I, I feel like my shit's smooth as fuck. Like now you go, now you go, no, he arrogant and shit, but you won't ask me that shit. It's the question I was asked. Look, I mean, why would I hate this? Like motherfuckers lighter than me can't get no smooth shit like this. So why would I hate that? <laughs> he said, y'all can't, y'all can't be get like him. Are you still friends with Ryan? I think I know the answer to that. Um, no. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, um, let's see. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Y'all asked some good ones. Y'all asked some good ones. So uh you could give me them hated ones too. I'm cool with that. They said they feel like she wanted somebody that was a mixed race and not a chocolate black man. That's what Yolanda said. But again, you don't know shit about her. You basing off a dark man like you take what's what's the other man she dated? You don't know. You basing off Ryan and you basing off me. She had the baby by me though. So I can't say she wanted a light dude. Listen, if his son is 30, y'all do the math. Do the math. Do the math, people. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else. Why would the woman falsely accuse him? Why do I mean, people falsely accuse anybody? We just went through, I don't know, even know what she we we tried to answer that. We said we don't know. We felt it's just a safe face and try to shift the blame to me. But we can't say that's something they call her DM her and ask her that. Oh, well, here's a good question. How was your financial situation when you was with your uh first son's mom? I was a teenager. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, well, he's a teenager. There but my son has never wanted my son has been always been well off. Always taken care of. No kid I ever have will always be they always be straight. Got everything. Damn, y'all want to keep asking. Oh, here's a here's a good one. Are you dating now? Um, I'm not in a relationship, but I I mean, I, I kick it. Let's see what else we got. Have you gotten over the hurt and the betrayal? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I can. Um, I mean, you say got over it emotionally, yeah, but it, it, it's still things that you know what I'm saying comes up in my mind sometimes, you know. You know, I can't just completely, you know, wipe it clean like I have amnesia, you know, but it's it's still things that come up in my mind, you know, certain situations and be like, God damn, they was on that bullshit that day. That's what, oh my God, that's how this happened. Oh, shit. you know, so little things may pop up and it may bring you back to start putting two and two and putting puzzle pieces together. I feel you on that. It's going to be like that for a minute. But yeah, They say, how are you moving forward from it? I mean, a long time ago, I forgave both of them. You know, I, I wasn't going to harbor that. You know, I don't hate either one of them at all. You know, they did what they did. And that wasn't a reflection of me. That was a reflection of them. So I don't feel bad about myself because it, it wasn't on me. You know what I'm saying? It was on them. Yeah. And why you didn't get Ryan the business? Because I'm a grown-ass man. And what was that going to do? The winner of the fight? What, 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 then what happens? And I actually wanted people to see... The situation for what it was and a fight would have just really put it on some ghetto shit the first time i seen ryan was in the first time we was on the show that was 10 months when i say seeing him actually i saw him out but we hadn't had, you know exchanged any words the first time we actually exchanged words was 10 months after the incident damn so, okay i already had got over all that shit has he done this to anybody else in y'all friend group I mean, they watched the show. Well, there we go. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll end like that. I would never, even with, even with that, I would never throw dirt, dirt on that man's name either. Like, whatever he did, and I know that he did, while me and him was friends, that's still between me and him. Is he still your son's godfather? I know the answer to that, but if you want to answer that, you can. My son, unfortunately, would never have a godfather. Oh, has this changed how you look at the rest of your friends? Not at all. Again, I won't let an individual change who other people are. That man made his decision. She made her decision. Just like I don't look at a woman as somebody who can't be trusted now. You know, somebody you're going to people say, don't take your woman around anybody. I don't want to be with a woman I got to hide, that I got to handcuff, and I can't take her out. So those two people didn't change my whole perception of the human race. Not at all. So I, I look at my friends just like I looked at them as my friends. There you go. There you go. Um, let's see. Let's see. Got another 30 seconds. Let's see if we y'all send me some good. Y'all can send me some good. 30 seconds. We're gonna let Anthony go. Uh Shay, they, it was about a month before he found out about it. Do you believe Ryan's apology was sincere? <sighs> I 
I'm gonna keep that to me. Okay. Okay. I got you. Um, they said, have you ever thought about teaming up with Black Femicide? I don't know who that. I don't. I've never heard of that. I mean, I've actually never heard of that. But again, even with this incident happening, I want to do more. You know what I mean? Because I did bring up something that people really don't know and people really are guilty guilty of. It's people probably even in this chat. A lot of them, they, it's a lot of forms of abuse. Every time people think of domestic violence, the first thing they think of is um, physical. But there's emotional, verbal, mental. Financial. Yeah. Financial, control. It's so yeah. many forms of domestic violence that people commit every day and they don't even know it. So they, you know, it's a lot of abusers out here. And so when I was working with the foundation, I, you know, I did a lot of research and I, you know, I did find out like, damn, at some point, yeah, I was an abuser when it came to, you know, I've been, I've verbally abused people. I've played with people feeling so that was emotional abusing. So, you know, we, I, I, I've been a, a, um, not just a victim, but I also been an aggressor, not knowing it. Not I, understand. I, talked to, I, I talked to Rachel today. I always, yeah, me and Rachel, that's my sister. Again, that's not going to change ever. I won't, again, I won't let them affect the way that's my sister that's always gonna be my sister I got her back I'm gonna still love her I'm gonna still love Ryan kids the same way again you, you can't give everybody everything they did what they did but I can't let it take away from who I am true 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 somebody said they love your eyes <laughs> okay <laughs> all right my man I thank you for coming on man I'm gonna let you get on with your day hey, I'm gonna just say this too man I really appreciate because if you Google Anthony Lindsay and Ryan Henry, it's like 300 or 400, you know, stories and blogs will come up. And everybody, it'll be abuse, abuse. You know, she accused me of, you know, yeah. but they're not going to go back and say he got found innocent. And yeah. I appreciate you for, you know, like I said, we, what, three hours out of court, you know, and I appreciate you. You know, just like you put the abuse stuff up there too, because that's what she did. That's what you do. You report the news, but you also report the second half of it. Yeah, that's that's my job. That's why I don't know why people are saying I'm taking sides. I literally showed y'all. Yeah, y'all should saw the first one too, because your story is some of the reason I got caught in abuse. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad as fuck. <laughs> you know, but I appreciate that, man. Absolutely, man. And, and look, oh, they say you should interview Ryan now. Ryan don't like me. <laughs> Ryan ain't coming over here. Anyway, it's ain't about Ryan, though. It's about you. But anyway, man, no, you're so welcome. And I look, my job is just to report and put and put out there. That's it. That's it. So, uh, no, absolutely, man. And hey, you got my number, man. Keep in touch, and uh, we'll holla at you later. For sure. For sure, man. Okay. All right, Storm, you know your skin look good. Thank you so much. So here's the thing, right? I'm going to give y'all five minutes. I want to know I want to know why y'all got an attitude with me. Why y'all saying I'm taking sides? Just cause, Why y'all want me? Oh, she's getting dark outside. Damn, this. you know what? I should have been filming in here the whole time. I ain't even going to friend. I should have been filming in here the whole time. This shit way better than the studio. Y'all going to like the new place, too. I'm going to be taping in my room. I'm gonna have a green screen too, and then I'm be taping in the kitchen sometimes. It's 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 so clean. It's so clean. But anyway, let me uh let me invite y'all up here. Why you interview that clown? Because he was found not guilty. He was found not guilty. So how would I be to talk about his baby mama saying he beat her ass? But I'm not going to talk about when a man found not guilty. That ain't right. You have to be objective. You have to be objective. I just want to see if anybody that has smoke going to come up here. Because now I'm going to give you time to say why you think I'm taking sides. Because low key, low key, that's, that's kind of hurtful because I literally show both. I know some of y'all are new. Some of y'all was not on the channel last year. But literally, we talked. We, chronicled the whole thing vh1 don't want to give me my credit but we ain't worried about no vh1 and them not paying their people and they people saying the airbnbs we ain't worried about that you moving it wait a minute you moving again are you still running from jaguar wrong let me tell you something i'm not running from taco bell baby well i did technically leave the apartment because my address was public in one place but here's the thing no i'm moving again because i can because things change you gotta move with the times and it's all good just know that but i ain't running from nobody though 
I think so much neutral. Yeah, they want me to. They just want me to go in because I always talk about the exotical tax. And look, it is an exotical tax. It is. If you if you listen to what he was saying, he couldn't be on a license for his bar, lost an opportunity for a corporate job. That's a lot of money behind just one woman. It's a lot of money. It is an exotical tax. It is. But am I going to drag him for that? No, he still didn't deserve that. That's what y'all fail to realize. Like, he, no matter what you think about his preference, he didn't deserve that at all. He didn't deserve that. Stormy, you wearing braces? Yes, I wear braces. But you didn't ask it like you do when you roast it. What am I roasting him for, though? That's the thing. Ain't nobody came up here. I'm going to give y'all a few more minutes because I don't want y'all to think I'm running from you. Ain't nobody came up here. Don't let it change you. No, I'm not. I'm not mad or nothing. I just want to give them an opportunity. Okay, we got one that want to come up here. Okay, cool. Awesome speaks. Can you hear me on your end? Huh? What you said, boo? Can you hear me on your end? Yes, I can. How you doing, Storm? I'm good. I'm good. You sound nice and clear, too. Um, listen, I don't really know why he feels the need to still have a relationship with Ryan's baby mama after this whole ordeal is, I mean, don't you think that he should have just let everybody go? Oh, okay. Now th that's a good question. You know what? If it was me, a, a, a nigga like me, I probably would have, cause I'm good for cutting people off. Only reason why I'm going to say no is because they literally been friends for like over 15 years. Do I think he finds Rachel attractive? Of course. But I think, I think, they, got, but I think they got a more of a, well, brother, brother, sister bonds be smashing too. I ain't going to front. But I think that he respects her so he wouldn't cross that line. But I'm a, I'm a only say I'm a only say I understand because they they literally been friends for 15 years. Um, I don't think she would let him cross that line either. I don't I don't think so either. I don't think so either. But do I think they both find each other attractive though? Yeah. Because have you ever? I'm a, I'm gonna tell my own tea, my own story. Even with like my mom, my dad, and the group of friends that they had, my dad's best friend wish he would have talked to my mom first. And I'm 28, and this man still feel that way. Hey, Michael. Shout out to Michael. 28, the man. Because my daddy didn't do right by my mama. He felt like I would have did better by So sometimes it'd be like, fuck, I should have been with you. But they still cool, though. So, you know, it's all good. I was just wondering how, like, the whole thing, you know, like, after you find out all this information, mm -hmm. how do you really interact with your baby mama? You know what I'm saying? And the godfather of your children. Or, you know. Who's supposed to be now him and him and Ryan, they don't have any contact anymore. And right. Ryan doesn't come around. The kid's name is Kaden. Ryan doesn't come around Kaden anymore. As far as him and his baby mama, she literally filed charges on him and they still see each other every day because he has his son five days a week. That's why I told you, I've been following the man on IG. Literally. I see it. He take his son. Cause he lives um, like five minutes from his son's school. So he take his son to school every day. They stop by the mama house every day for lunch. Low key, Anthony got custody of the kid. Low key, but I'm gonna leave that alone. But um, <laughs> I'm just saying that's full time. But you know, they see each other every day. So I feel like if you were so scared of this man, how are you able to see him five days a week? How was she even able to do that though? Because usually when you put something in the courts, don't you usually get a restraining order? Or something is put in place until you actually go to court. When you so, find domestic charges on somebody, they tell you you guys are not supposed to see each other at all. So she broke her own. She broke up. She broke her own thing. That's why it got dropped. She literally did that shit because she was mad because she was embarrassed. Now this is what people got to understand about Latin women, right? Even I noticed this when I used to work at uh, at Child Protective Services. They would get their man arrested on Friday and be partying with him on Saturday. It's mm -hmm. some weird shit culturally that I don't get. But they weird like that. Like, they'll fight you. They'll stab you. They'll cuss you out. They'll get you arrested. And still low-key be cool with you. It's weird. 
Oh, did she freeze? Oh, you did freeze. Oh, for, oh my bad. Though. My bad. But yeah, but yeah, but Latin women, I've noticed that too. I've never dated one, but I've noticed that they will go at their man and then I'll be like, but y'all got a court case, but y'all still. But they still see that as being love. They actually see that as being more love. I don't understand that shit either. Excuse my language. Them Latins are like that. Them Italians are like that too. They will fight, be in court, be all that, and still hang out. And it's just, it's not my thing. <laughs> but I ain't Latin, so I don't I don't understand. Okay. Thank you for coming up, okay? Thank you. Have a good night. All right, you too. Bye-bye. I'm so glad she sounded clear. And you know what? I think this camera works better for StreamYard. You know what, y'all low key. Sometimes when you keep it cheaper, it'd be better. Hey, TJ, you on the show? Hi, Storm. Greetings from Las Vegas. Hey, from Las Vegas. Do me a favor. Make sure I'm cut off in the background so we don't have the echo. Hey, TJ, you on the show? Hi, Storm. Welcome from Las Vegas. Hey, you still got me on in the background though. You gotta cut it off so we don't have the um the replay. Hey, Storm. Welcome to Las Vegas. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to take you down because you gotta. Okay, so you on, but you also got me playing on your browser or either your TV. So you gotta cut that off and come back up. You're not gonna be able to listen to yourself while you talk to me because it's like a 30 second delay. All right, what's up, sit with D? Hey Storm, how are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Can you hear me good? Because I can hear you very well. I can hear you very well. You sound a tad bit low, but it ain't too bad. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, well, I just wanted to say one of the questions I had because when this when the other story first dropped about the whole thing, you know, he went on a slew of interviews all over, you know, the blogs and stuff. Which was fine, you know. I, I think he was able to speak his piece and speak his mind. And I think he was very hurt back then. And, you know, he had a right to do that. Right. But do you think that, um, I don't know the baby mama's name, but do you think that she maybe had tried to get with him because of like his status and being, you know, around Ryan? Because him and Ryan have been friends for like, you know, so many years. You know what? That's a good point. So their kid is six. They dated for, no, she got pregnant within the year of them dating. So he'd been knowing her for seven years. He was still hanging around Ryan. Was Black Ink on seven years ago? Say it again. Was Black Ink Crew on seven years ago? I don't remember. I don't know. But I mean, to be but, honest but, with you, without the show, Ryan was still well, well known from what I've heard. He was still well in known Chicago. in Chicago. Yeah. So he was kind of like a deal, a big deal already. But, so, but, but, but let me say this too, because people going to drag me and say whatever. But the truth is the truth. Ryan, in the looks department, Ryan got it. So he was big. He was popular in Chicago anyway. Let's just keep it real. So it could have been, I can't get with Ryan, but I can get with his best friend. It could have been. It could have been. It could have been. Maybe that's who she wanted the whole time. But then, but then you could have been smashed Ryan if that was No, the no. Rachel was around. But they Rachel been, been around for a long time. Yes. That, well, okay. So Rachel, okay. So Rachel and Ryan have been off and on since they were teenagers in high school. So, and, and remember, Rachel got a baby by Jeremiah. Right. I think that's the first baby. Or was it the second baby? That's the second. Right. So she was like with Ryan, then got with him, then got with Jeremiah, and like got back together. She like, you know, did her thing. They said Black Ink Chicago is now in the seventh season. So that would so, be, ooh. that would be all around that same time. I mean, the, hey, because Black Ink already had a name, no matter where it was at. That's true, too. And if you if you guys know how TV works, they film the shows a year in advance before it even come out. Exactly. So that would be about eight-ish years ago that the cameras are following Ryan. Yep. And to be honest with you, what was I just about to say? Oh, my God, I just slipped my mind. Oh, to be honest with you, we really don't even know when this really started. When they started messing around, we just know when it hit the blogs and when Anthony found out. So from Anthony going through the phone, well, first, he's, actually, my bad, the, the baby went through the phone. Right. 
and the issue is kids will definitely tell your fucking business golly they will tell your business uh so anthony thinks it was going on about a month or two just based off the text messages but it could have been way before then i think it was a little way before then could have been because they all they've been going on trips and to be honest with you with the history of ryan he has no boundaries no loyalty no nothing you know we've seen it all happen on camera with cat and everything with Kit, with whoever. So, I mean, that's one of the things I thought about because I was following, I tried to follow her, but I think she went, um, not Kat, the, the baby mama, I think she went private for a while when all that stuff was going on. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I follow Anthony too. Anthony's very vocal. And so he was very vocal and everything. And Ryan was just dragging him. They acted like he was, it was disgusting the way Ryan was acting. It was. And, you know, it would get me too. The baby mama, she went, private but then now she got her only fans and you know I, I went on there i did a little research you know and uh <laughs> and i was looking and i'm like you ain't doing nothing but posting shit in your panties abroad I, i'm just like this. anyway yeah yeah if you're gonna do only fans you got a script she was just trying to bring i mean good any publicity is good publicity but you know what i'm saying so at that point she was probably trying to bring whatever she can bring in from the drama whatever you know because even that i think anthony hinted at that's why i was very surprised he was on the show because he hinted back then that they're going to try to air this on black ink and he was like i'm not down for it and just in the third and here oh, it he is said, on the show oh he said a year and a half my bad he said a year oh, okay and a half. he said a year and a half by the way too somebody was trying to shade cynthia g in here you're not gonna shade cynthia g over here i don't know what that was joshua i just put you in time out i don't know what that was but we're not gonna shade Cynthia G, Cynthia G, cool with me, and we ain't gonna shade nobody. Yeah, I, I just think it's, right. I think it's a hot mess, and I wanted to ask Anthony, would he think about rekindling a friendship with Ryan at all? I know he said they're not friends right now, maybe years from down the line, you know, because he has to co-parent with this woman, you know. So, what about the situation with Ryan? Is he worth even really still continuing the friendship if he feels like he's changed and he's getting his therapy and? I mean, but based on me and Anthony's conversations, he's just not interested in going back. It just it, It's never going to be the same. Yeah. You know, time heals all wounds. That's what people say. But to me, it's just not. To me, I couldn't look at you the same. Yeah. Because she going to do what she going to do. But if you if you my best friend, uh, nah. nah. Did he ever ask Ryan, like, what made him say this decision? Of, oh, he says no. <laughs> I don't blame him, to be honest with you. But he ever asked Ryan, like, what really made him to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do? You know what? I don't even remember. I feel like we talked about that. Probably. But I'm going to say this. I feel like Ryan did that shit because he could. I feel like Ryan do it. People do what they can get away, what they feel they can get away with. I agree, because he's been doing it. He's been doing it. You know, you like, I say this all the time, and this is why I stopped watching a little bit of his season, because... It's your character for one. Yeah, we get it. It's reality TV, but Black Ink Crew Chicago was one, to me, was one of the realest ones when it first started. Yeah. And with Ryan messing with Kat and the way he wanted to go about it, it exploded in all his friendship with Van, with Charmaine. I mean, almost even with Four and all of them, like all of that exploded off of him sticking his penis somewhere where it wasn't supposed to be and then trying to act as though it was all nothing. Like that whole season blew up. I mean, everything. To me, a man like that, your character, who you are, Mm -hmm. it's not worth it it's not worth it at all you know what i gotta look mm, this is what i wonder i don't even know if it's ever happened but i wonder if if ryan and charmaine has ever messed around i thought about that too because when they had that conversation it was just like okay what it's a little too close i mean i just felt like why is everyone so emotionally invested i get it we're friends like that but if he's carrying you like that and she carrying you like that like let it be but what is going on it makes me think he does touch the surface of people that he probably is not supposed to touch Right. That's and you know how Charmaine was. Charmaine was kind of the sky, the mixy when it came to that season. So well, Charmaine was loose. I still remember when Charmaine peed on that carpet in Jamaica. I ain't gonna never forget. <laughs> yeah, Charmaine was loose, you know. She <laughs> definitely was loose, you know. But she's she a didn't long, care about no, a long she, way. She's come a long way. Yeah, she came a very long way, but she definitely didn't have no boundaries then. And as we all know, Rachel was not around like that around those first seasons. She was still messing with Jeremiah. I don't know. So, you know, who knows or whatever the case may be with that one. So she wasn't around. And I'm pretty sure he touched every anybody's his assistant. He touched it. 
And honestly, because he can. And ladies, I know y'all don't like to hear this, but anytime you got a man that's successful, he got money, and the nigga got looks, he gonna... It's so much thrown at him that he he can't even turn it down low key. I know y'all don't like to hear that, but that's really what it is. It's the truth, and he got already had that buzz, and you know he looks a lot better physically than he did the first couple seasons. So, hey, I'm pretty sure he came on to that girl first. I, I'm just pretty sure he did, and she wasn't gonna not bite. So, I don't know, but I do think the interview was great. I'm glad he got to clear his name because I remember um, Ryan throwing that out too, and her throwing that out. You know, way back when that situation was going on, and I do wish the best for him. I honestly do because he was going through a lot. You know, so you know, I don't know if he's still watching, but I definitely wish the best for you, and just you know, thrive and just do what you have to do for you and your sons, and keep it moving. Like I said, I've been like looking at his page, and you know, I was following him back then, and I think he's a great individual. So just keep pushing. I think he should too. And even like I told Anthony, the most important thing is that you guys are co-parents for your son. And that that's all that matters. All that other stuff is BS. So thank you, Simply D. Thank you for coming on. No problem. See you later, Storm. See you later now. All right. Somebody said not necessarily. Listen, any man, y'all better go back and listen to Chris Rock. Any man that's successful gets so much thrown at him. It ain't outwards. The shit's on the low. But men do what they do to get women. It is what it is. We shower for y'all. We work out for y'all. We get money for y'all. It's all Y'all got the power. It's all for y'all. Just saying. We wouldn't give a damn otherwise. InfoWars, you up, man? InfoWars.com. Oh, man. Hey, can you hear me, Storm? Yeah, we can hear you, man. How you doing tonight? Beautiful, man. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I... I mean, I, the first question I had, I've actually gone through this in my own life, the mm -hmm. same situation. It was okay. totally made up. And I was living in L.A., right? And what the question I had, like something that, that really uh, made me think when he said I lost my wages. And I see, see, I never lost wages. I still had a job throughout the whole thing. I was good to go. When I heard him say he lost the wages, I said he probably needs to. I mean, I know that's his baby mother. You need to start looking and call a lawyer and see what you can do about countersuing or something, man. Because he said he lost a six-figure job in chi -Town. I'm like, dude, come on. I, I couldn't let that Here's the thing, though. If she don't have – I don't know what she do. Well, she got she only fans. Yeah, but if she ain't got no money like that, that's just a waste of his time. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that, too. So I was like, yeah, it's just – that's a poor situation. I actually like Ryan. I think he's a cool brother overall from the things that I see him doing. But the way he's been moving, the last person that was just on here said a great, she brought up a great example. Like, yeah, you've been doing this for a while. And I'm like, for me, it's like, how are you not catching, nobody's catching those sexual harassment charges. No one's, I mean, and they're working in the, I'm like, this seems a little reckless. I, I work for a company that's a, you know, you can't do that kind of stuff. And these are fortune high up companies. I mean, I put my face out here, I don't care. But you just have to be very careful how you move. And it seems like I've noticed with a lot of black, black people, you know, we're black people, Sometimes we don't move appropriately, you know, when we're in leadership positions. True. He called ourselves, like I was looking at Caesar and, and Kitty when she threatened him with the lawsuit. Like I heard that, I was like, I hear a lot of lawfare kind of going on and nothing really happens. But it's good to see him fight this and win and just you giving him the platform to say that. Because a lot of brothers go through this kind of stuff all the time. And it's like, we don't, you don't ever hear the other side. And when it gets expunged, it's like, oh, you just, you know, you're accused of stuff. And it, it's very sad. And uh, there's a lot of jealous yeah. women out here, a lot, a lot of angry men that do the same thing. They do it to women, women do it to men. They use the, 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 the courts to go against people, and it's really sad. So but, but, look, but look at it this way. How would mm -hmm. I, who, what kind of person would I be to talk about one side of it? But now that he didn't gave me proof that is, he's not guilty, I would be messed up to not put that out there, too. If you really, truly about the news, you got to put both. Yeah. Absolutely. You got to put both. The man not guilty. And then even the marks I saw on her, it literally looked like somebody was sucking on her chest. Like, that's what people do when they have sex. If this nigga hit you, she'd have been out. Like, I just, yeah. I, I, I wasn't believing it. Come on. Yeah, I, I agree. I just, it's just good to see that somebody's actually looking at that other side and putting it out there because it's, it's like I said, I was, I was a journalism major, Hampton University all day. So I know how it is when you, you know, you're trying to get things you know, just journalism. I mean, you're, you're doing a good job, man. I see what you're doing. And 
Keep, keep, just keep up the good work. I mean, it's just that was sad to see that. Like, I was really thinking it was a PR move. Like, did Ryan put her up to this to make him look good? Like, I was thinking this. Like, is that what happened? It was very strange. Like, the timing. Always look at the timing. Always good point. Time. Good point. Because Ryan, Ryan had a lot of heat on him at that time. But this is what got me though too. She made up a whole story, a beginning, middle, and end, and that shit is scary. Like. You really just made up this whole... It ain't like she just said, oh, he hit me. She was like, no, he came in the house and he restrained me and then he beat me. And then she said, and I read it, he choked me and I could not breathe for 10 minutes. And I looked it up and I'm like, you die after like four to six. That's... Come on. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's, that's nothing to joke about. If it's a real thing, it's a real thing. And he, it's, it makes people that are really going through that kind of stuff, it puts everybody in jeopardy. It's, it's, things need to change. I mean, and I know, like, you were talking about Drake. Drake be suing people. If you try to do anything to Drake or anybody, Justin Bieber, they will sue you because they have the money and the resources to do so. A lot of people don't, and they'll do it just to bankrupt you. But it's like, hey, you have to set a precedent with some of this stuff. You just can't let this stuff go. I mean, you have to. Because you got women that actually do get their ass beat, and they can't yeah. get away. And it's just, like you just said, it ain't a joke. It's serious. It's serious. Yeah. It's serious. Yeah. But thank you, InfoWars, man. Let's we'll see if anybody else want to come on, man. But I appreciate the support. Salute, man. Appreciate it. Take it easy, Thanks. man. Take it easy. All right. That was positive. Let's see. Anybody else? Uh, we already up here 56 minutes. We might as well just end it at an hour. Shout out to Cynthia G. They came in. I followed you on IG, too, uh, Cynthia G. I ain't know no messy shit. I fuck with you. I fuck with you heavy. Y'all say what y'all want about Cynthia G. Cynthia G be keeping it real and be roasting the fuck out of people. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, shout out to Nyla Says too. She's really dope as well. Okay. Y'all go subscribe to them too. Why they not at 100k? I feel like y'all be... I feel like y'all go watch a lot of us, but then you won't hit the sub button. Hit the sub button too, especially if you're tuning in all the time. Um. Okay. What else? What else? Shout out to Tierra. Thank you. In regards to business, hit me stormarobusiness at gmail.com. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I like the plainest chain. I've heard of the plainest chain. I feel like I've heard of her. I just can't think of what she does. I've heard of that though. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? All right, three more minutes. We're going to call it a day. <clears throat> Rodney the voice, okay. Sin is a real one, yeah. She keep it real. Just because he found not guilty doesn't mean he not guilty. <laughs> that y'all, that man is not guilty. Y'all, y'all, uh, come on now. Y'all can't go above the uh, the criminal justice system now. Tell us how you feel about Caesar. Who me? Or are you talking about Anthony? Probably talking about me. Um. I ain't got nothing against Caesar. I don't like, I, I didn't, here's the thing when it came to Caesar disciplining his daughter, man, I don't think you should be punching your kids in the face, pulling their hair. I don't, I don't like a lot of that shit. I don't really like fathers doing physical discipline on their girls just because we strong. So it's like, I, I, I know there's a place for corporal punishment, I'm just not, I, I, I can't see myself punching my kid in the face, but I don't have kids, but I just can't see myself doing it. But that's me. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cynthia G. She said, thank you. I rock with you as well. I'm about to follow your IG, become a member. Oh, thank you, Cynthia G. Shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let me get y'all one more. Oh, yeah. She said she don't be on, you did say you don't be on IG like that. Hey, I get it. I get it. IG be tripping. Um... I know this storm you spend some of that Cynthia G fire. Hell yeah, I do. If she tell the truth, she tell the truth. And me and you, Cynthia, we got to have a conversation. I want us to have it if you open to it. But when you said, how can black men call themselves alpha if they have been, how did you put it? You didn't say not taken over, but you said owned by every other word. It's some, it's some way you put it. I would love to have that conversation because that was something I had never heard anybody say. Good conversation to have one day. Um, Let's see. Let's see. All right, y'all. Like eight more seconds. We're going to call it a night. 
We're going to call it a night. Yeah, if she's open to it, yeah, I would love to. I want to have that conversation too. Um, I'm anti-corporal punishment. I think there's other stuff to do unless they touch me. Look, Courtney, I get that if your kid touches you, but I just I just think that us as uh, we could definitely have a def have a convo. Okay, for sure. I'll DM you on IG uh with my info. We're gonna set that up. Let's break the internet for sure. I just I'm gonna end it with this. I just think when they come to corporal punishment, we as black people have been so on the beat your ass kick for so many generations. And I just ask, is it really working or recreating better people or are we staying stagnant? I'm not saying it don't have a place. I just don't feel that should be the first thing you do when your kid mess up. I'm just saying, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, you guys have a good night. Um, make sure you follow me on IG, Storm Hour TV. I'm on Twitter at Storm Hour One. Or just put in Storm Hour. I'm going to pop up. Uh, you can follow me on Patreon as well, Storm Hour. You can become a member of the channel where we'll talk about more conspiracy ish type stuff. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Any business stuff? Storm Hour Business at gmail.com. And I think that's about it. I'm going to call it a night, right? Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.